Tasha Wright coming to you live and direct from the Reverend's Design Team. And we are about to get the, oh, Tariqa's leaving, by everybody. Love, peace, and you know. All right, okay, so what we're about to do is we are going to continue the great debate of natural hair versus, what's the other one? Oh, chemically altered hair. So this is per Dr. Spritz, who wants me to go ahead on and kick the ballistic. Let me make sure my mask is on here good. All right, so here's the thing. Yesterday, I did a customer's hair and I did a jerry curl. And so I asked the question, is her hair natural? And so people were like, no, her hair isn't natural because I chemically altered her hair. So this is the guest here that I have. This is a, are you a real person, first of all? So we have established that this is a real person. That's number one. So number two, are you dead or are you alive? Okay, so she's talking. So this is a live human being. So first thing we want you to get, the guys, get you guys to understand is that Real hair, you know, it's got, it's on real people. And it has blood flow that's flowing that makes the hair alive. So if you are alive, so is your hair. Now when you're dead, so is your hair because you have no blood flow, hence dead hair. So all this stuff about hair is dead, we don't want to hear that at the Reverend's Design Team because as we can see, her hair is very much alive due to the blood flow this is the science of hair. We call this trichology, the science of scalp and hair properties, all right? So now, the question is, is this her natural hair? Now, she wants this natural Afro hair straightened out today, all right? What's up, Jamila, what's up, Eric? And so this, you know, so to straighten out her hair, we're going to have to alter it just like we did with the jerry curl. The young lady wanted a new curl pattern. So first of all, if it grows from your scalp, it's natural, all right? Now, if you gotta put some tracks in it and put a wig on top, what's that called? Quick weed. Quick weed, that's a real cosmetologist. Cosmetologist, what's your name? Amber. Amber, Fred is in the heezy. Little social distance, there she is, okay? <laughs> all right, so Amber said, do you have a wig on, by the way? Do you have on a wig? Is that your real hair? Uh -huh. So show me your, 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 your hair right. So here go Anna with the fake hair, y'all, right quick. Yes. Now that, it look real. Yes, with the part on it, but she said this is, that's not her real hair, okay? So that's fake hair. Now, she wants to alter this fabric because she wants her hair straightened out. Now, I'm gonna have to use a couple of chemicals to make this happen. Now, to alter the other young lady's chemical, I mean texture, I used a theoglycolate. So to alter her chemical, her hair, I'm going to use some good old fashioned heat. That's right. I'm going to use some heat to alter this fabric. Number one. Number two, I'm going to use a good old fashioned brush. Now this is man made. By the way, the blow dryer is man made. This is man made. This is her natural hair. I am going to alter this fabric. Now, I gotta protect this fabric, because it's natural, right? So I'm gonna use DECA. Now, I'm not gonna use the Rev Air, because she's got a little buildup on her hair, and so we, the, the, the Rev Air is for another type of fabric. So we're gonna use the blow dryer, all right? So you're gonna tilt your hair forward. There we go, good job. And so now I'm gonna spray the hair using Satin Tang. Now, one of the ingredients in Satin Tang is the Tiro alcohol. So could you just look up and tell me what is Cetero, I might be saying it wrong, Cetero alcohol, what is that basically up top? A wax. So basically, it ain't nothing but a wax. Cause you know, you're gonna help, you know, get the hair nice, soft, and coated. Now, this ain't natural now, okay? It's got a little man-made, all right? So we're gonna use something to alter her hair. So again, we are talking about natural hair, versus uh, chemically altered. Now we just used some chemicals. We got some uh, hydrolyzed protein, jojoba, you know, okay, some lanolin. Uh, we also have a, uh, 
Blowout, this is sold by Mr. Sharp. What, why not? It's got a polyquaternium. A polyquaternium is just a fancy word for a synthetic conditioner. So we're gonna put this on here. Now we're gonna comb this through. Now I'm going to alter her hair. So I got some chemicals in there, and now I'm gonna use some good old fashioned heat. All right. So here we go. Had to make sure myself was on. What's her happening? Happy I had to go live on her. Cause then, what's up, Rashid? I just saw that, okay? All right, so here we go. Natural hair versus chemically altered hair. Now we use chemicals to wash our hair, by the way. That shampoo was made out of chemicals. Yeah, it was so fake free and all that good stuff, but it has some chemicals in it, okay? So here we go. And we're just gonna go ahead on and get her nice and smooth. All right. Now, if you guys have any questions, what's up, Wendy? What's up? What's up? Uh, what's up, Pat? So we're doing this. You don't see all this smoke coming off her hair. And I'm just, I'm altering her hair. So the whole argument here is you are going to use chemicals to alter the hair. How am I doing? Am I being too aggressive? She said, I'm doing okay. All right, so now we are making it clear that when you alter hair, whether you're washing it, cleaning it, we gonna alter it with some heat, we gonna use some chemicals to alter this, all right? So y'all gotta quit hating on these relaxers. Y'all gotta quit hating on all these, this hair coloring. Y'all gotta quit hating on all these jerry curls, all this man-made stuff. So those chemicals are getting a bad rap. Now granted, there are some research that there's some concerns about those chemicals, but you gotta understand that's not for every person and per every manufacturer, they have this thing that says professional use, and if it doesn't work, discontinue use, okay? So again, I'm using some man-made stuff uh, on this natural fabric because I'm going to alter it. So you're starting to understand that altered hair is still natural hair. It's like this crystal here. It came from the earth. It's a natural rock, but they altered it. They polished it. It's called tumble. This is a carnelian, which by the way, is for good communication. Universe of bad motor scooter, okay? And so this carnelian right here has been polished, but it's still natural, okay? All uh, right, using the man-made process, okay? So we're gonna keep going. All uh, right, now this is Oprah Winfrey in my chair, in case y'all wondering who this celebrity is. And she don't want to be on the camera. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Cardi B, I'm sorry. It's Cardi B in them, okay? So she don't want her face on on camera. So I'm using the right product, the right tool, and the right technique, okay? So we're just having fun here at work today. And she's being so kind to let me drive in my point. And I just want you guys to see. All right. So she's looking real good. Now I am altering her hair. All right. And now I'm gonna section some more. Now I'm doing this in sections because she's got real live Afro hair. What's up, Bruce? What's up, Ann? How y'all doing out here? Any questions? I want y'all to throw them at me. Because we, we doing this in honor of the Almond Ross squad. And we going after the, we the pseudo killers today in hair care. We killing all this nonsense about when you alter hair, it's no longer natural, okay? So we gonna alter this hair, particularly with chemicals, okay? All right. And our hair is very, very healthy. I'm gonna show you guys the brush.
right, so this is a dimming brush, and I want you guys to see I'm not snatching out all of her hair. She's at just a little bit, and that comes with styling. So she's doing good here. And how's her scalp feeling? She said it's still a human now. This is real hair. I'm gonna take this down. Now you want you want bangs or no bangs? It don't matter. We like it don't matter. All the hairstylists, what's up? We love it don't matter. That means we can do what the hell we want to do. Okay. <laughs> All right. So she said it don't matter. Of course, since I have bangs, y'all already know what she's gonna get, right? That's right. She's gonna get some bangs today, cause I like the way that I look. Okay. All right. How at the girl? Don't be trying to fill my virtual booty. What's up, boo? How you doing? So we're gonna style her hair. We're gonna blow dry it the way she wants this style. And I'm just using a good old fashioned Denman brush. And her afro is still looking good now. This ain't her natural state, by the way. This is not her natural state. I have used some chemical shampoo. I've used some chemical conditioners. I'm using some chemical thermal protectors. All these chemicals and her hair is still natural. I want y'all to stop with this uh, hair shaming is where I'm going. Y'all being a little bit too hard on these people. All right. I'm gonna turn my heat down a little bit. That's the right way. No, there we go, okay. So I'm turning my heat down a little bit. Hey! All right. And you guys can see her hair is getting nice and smooth. And the afro is still intact. And this is what we do. We've been doing this since the beginning of time. We've been altering hair. Come over a little bit. All right. And all I'm doing is filling her cuticle. This is how I'm altering her hair right now. And yes, I did use some chemicals, and I'm using some regular old fashioned heat. This is electric heat, all right, that a man made so I can use it, all right? So sometimes you gotta use a little bit of nature with a little bit of man science, okay? So we gotta stop beating up when man invent things, okay? Because without man, it wouldn't be none of this. That's right. Tell them, Andre. No hair shaming. Type it again for me, Andre, because they don't know. Chris, that's Andre in the house. Andre Stewart. Chris, what's up, Andre? No hair shaming. And as you can see, this is not taking a long time. All right. And y'all notice she ain't flinching or none of that crazy stuff. Now, it's a little awkward here because I'm trying to keep her in the camera's way and I don't want y'all to come off my lesson. Cause I'm coming after all these people that they was going on my feet. They was going off on me. That's right. He said, what up, Chris? He put two D's in it, okay? He said, what up, Chris? So we gotta stop this hair shaming, telling people that if they alter their hair, it's not natural. Cause my hair is altered to the, t to the tenth degree. <laughs> when I talk about this altar, I got highlights. I got color, it's flat on, I got hairspray, I got all kind of chemicals in it. But I think my hair look good. What you think, Andre? Andre, does my hair look good? Hit the hard button for me, Andre. And I'm gonna pull out how much hair came out so y'all can see. Not bad. So she's good. That's it for all you. I bet that heat damaged her hair. Heat don't damage hair, okay? Bad techniques. Hair is an excellent conductor of heat. Look at that. So that's one way we can alter our hair. 
So somebody posted on my feed, you know, that I changed the fabric when I put the chemical on it. So we can alter her hair when we braid it. Watch this. So she said, I want some waves, right? I can braid this hair. And when I braid, I got my intern over here, so I'm about to put her to the test, all right? So the second layer of hair is called the what? Oh, my intern get an A plus. Give it up for the intern, y'all. Woo! So the second layer is called the cortex. And do you know what that layer is for? The cortex is for what layer? For what? And color. That's right. So the second layer, let's give it up for the intern again. Woo! Intern Zombie representing Kent in the house. What's up to all the Kent people, okay? So now, this is her, her texture, you know, all blown out. So I braided her hair, and what I just did is I realigned the second layer, which is where her peptide chains is to help create a new pattern. So when I take this down, guess what she's gonna have? She's gonna have a new texture that you guys call twist outs. That's also altering the hair since y'all wanna go there, all right? That's right, we going off. That's right, Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. you altering the hair. That ain't natural, but y'all don't see us. That's right, that's right, that's right. He don't damage hair, you get it, Andre. Andre, you stay on this feed with us, because they don't understand me that. products 
have Cetiro alcohol in it, which is just a wax to help you mold and sculpt the hair and lock in the new look, be it a braid. You see that? You can use Cetiro alcohol to corn roll hair. You can use Cetiro alcohol to palm roll hair, you see? You can use Cetiro alcohol to do a lot of different things, but today, she said, I don't want none of that. I want my hair straightened out. What's up, Melanie is in the house. We have us a natural hair expert on the feed, all right? Now, sometimes what's happening in the beauty industry is we're taking our lead from uh, uneducated people. Now, I don't think you have to have license to know how to do this, but you do need to have the education, all right? So I'm not gonna flat on her whole head. I'm just doing this for the sake of the video and then I'm gonna come off the feed. There we go, yeah, just laying forward, just like that. See, she's trying to help me help y'all understand. I'm gonna give you a discount today. She gonna get one cent off. That's right, a whole penny. No, I'm not gonna do her like that, all right? Okay, so she being so kind, I'm gonna give her a free hairstyle today. You see what I'm saying? Because she's being so kind to help me get this information across so today, your hairstyle is gonna be no cost, all right? How do you like that? She said, oh, okay. All right, all right. So now we got her going. Now, when it also comes to altering the hair, all right? It's all about the right products, the right tools, the right technique. So I've already put some products on her hair. I'm gonna use a little of this hydrolyzed protein. Because Andre just said, we need to protect the hair. So I'm gonna rub it all over like lotion, and I'm just gonna put a little bit on this section. I'm gonna comb it through to make sure it's all over the hair. So I'm about to alter her hair using chemicals. I can use a sodium hydroxide, or I can use a Cetiro, Alcohol is so many ingredients, you guys, you don't even want, you don't even understand. And most products are multifaceted. So what you use to flat iron, you can go curly. It just depends on the manufacturer, okay? So these products that I'm using are multifaceted. So she can use this if she want to wash and go or if she want to flat iron her hair, okay? So now she's nice and smoothed out. Make sure she's dry here, because then I'm going to fire out if I don't make sure she's dry, okay? All right. Now we're going to use some man-made electricity. So we know electricity is natural, but we need a conductor with these cords here. And we're going to use these ceramic plates to help buff the electricity so we don't electrocute her and me. And I don't want to die today, okay? <laughs> All right, so the technique is she's going forward and we're gonna use some resistance and we're gonna use the chase method. Now, there are a thousand ways to flat iron hair, so don't, don't come after me, okay? So here we go. And I'm just gonna go real fast here. And I want you guys to see. Now we need a chemical to alter this Afro fabric because we don't want our hair to revert back. If her hair reverts back, she's gonna want her money back. So all I'm doing is rearranging her peptide chains with the heat. That's all I'm doing. I'm just using the heat and the chemicals and the products to rearrange. Now this is temporary, this is not permanent. I'm not permanently altering her hair. I'm gonna temporarily alter her hair. Now, everybody's always like, ah, all that heat. You messing up that lady natural texture. When she go to wear her hair back, guess what, Darby? What's gonna happen to her hair if we put water on it? All right, go give me some water. So now we got her hair all nice and straightened out, right? <laughs> It's a water bottle down there somewhere, all right? So I'm gonna show y'all how we plan around with this science. 
because we got to cut this hair. Shaming is going to an end today. All this stuff about if you alter natural hair, you put heat on it, you're going to compromise the fabric. Now, Andre just put up there that if we protect her hair, she's not going to have a problem with this, all right? And we did. We used proteins. And we used protein to protect her out of where my hair rendering at. So all we're doing, we're taking the heat to seal her cuticle. The chemicals and the heat is gonna rearrange that second protein layer temporarily. And the cetyl alcohol and all the other ingredients is gonna lock it in so it can stay straight. But if we put some water on it, what's up Robin, what's up Heather, what's up Fran? I'm gonna put some water on one piece. Y'all see what's happening? Here it goes, we're gonna do the whole section. <laughs> there she go. She's starting to revert. It's gonna just start coming on back and it's gonna start swelling all back up, okay? So that's what's going to happen. If we let this sit, this hair is just gonna revert back. So her hair is still natural. The only thing I did was put some heat. And y'all see the frizz is starting to come back. She's going back to Africa, not back to Cali. She's going back to Africa. We see the hair is starting to poof up and get a little frizzy. So that is what's happening. Now we want to straighten it back out. All we're doing is playing around with her bond. And there she goes again. And we can see, you see the frizz on it? So now we're coming back. And we just rearranged her bonds again. Now, I did not wash the product off. So now when I take my flat iron and go back to it again, guess what's going to happen? It's going to straighten back out. Here we go again, Shazam. She's got nice movement on it. Her hair is in good condition. Once we're all done with this, we're going to, you know, shape her ends up. And she's going to be good to go. Can you shake that for us a little bit? Now, she's shaking it for us a little bit because she wants movement. Sometimes people don't want movement. Sometimes people want it greasy. It, it, it don't matter. However you want your hair. Why? Because according to Andre, we don't want to be shaming anybody. So here, I just wanted to show you guys that you can safely alter hair. So we would have put some soap on her hair, we would have got the product off her hair, and then it all would have curled back up. But I just wanted to show you how the water, her hair was beginning to revert back. Now if I put soap on it, I'll wash the products off, and then I'm gonna realign her natural peptide chains, and all her curls are going to come back. So this concludes the argument that if you alter hair, uh, and with the chemical, it's no longer natural. Your hair is still natural when you alter it. The only thing it is right now is just alter. So whether you braid it, whether you roll it, whether you twist it, whether you corn roll it, whether you flip it, finger wave it, straighten it out, two strand twist, lock it, Am I missing anything else? And I get a, I got a lot of twins. Okay. So the intern said, girl, I think you got it, all right? So she said, we think we have our bases covered. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to answer some questions. But the goal of the video today is to really stop hair shaming people who want to do something different with their fabric and hiding under this thing called natural hair. And we just want to say that if it grows from your scalp, it truly is natural. And just because I'm smoothing out her hair, nothing's happening to her fabric. When people lose texture on fabric hair from using heat, I'm just gonna keep piggybacking off of what Andre said. 
is because you're not protecting the hair and you might be using the heat improperly. So this is not rocket science, guys. This is trichology, the science of hair. What's up, Chanel? I'm glad you like the information because uh, people are getting a lot of, um, are catching a lot of flack out here for whenever they do something to their hair. The young lady that I did her hair yesterday, she had beautiful Afro hair, but it was too bulky and she just didn't want to be bothered with all the twist outs. And, you know, she's a student, she's on the go. You know, it's the pandemic, they might shut stuff back down. You see what I'm saying? So I just said, you know, put a cherry curl on it. And that way you just can watch, you can just go. And so she put the jerry curl on it, but she was afraid because she said, if I do that, then my hair isn't natural. And I just wanted to show you guys today, her hair is very much natural. And we use chemicals. The first chemical we used was soap. The second chemical we used was a conditioner. The third chemical we used was a synthetic protein uh, made by Philip Pelosi. Uh, the fourth chemical we used was more synthetic protein. Uh, the fifth chemical we used was hydrolyzed mineral, mineral oil or grease, petroleum. Uh, and then we're also using some uh, man-made heat with the ceramic plate and the electricity. So we're using all of this, and we can see that her hair is 100% okay. Sorry, that's my son calling, okay? Shan, text CJ and tell him the books haven't arrived. They haven't. And I, as you see the technique, uh, and you said, uh, uh, she was young because I used to love the Wave Nouveau. Yeah, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, uh, Wave Nouveau, uh, Carefree Curl, uh, Soft and Free or Soft and Beautiful. They're all, they're all using a theoglycolate and they're going to add some more conditioners, give or take, to brand their product different from the other. So there you have it. Her hair is nice and smoothed out. Uh, again, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I appreciate the content. I'm glad. Yeah, be interested in it. It's safe. The Wave Nouveau, the Theoglycolate, is not, the pH isn't as high on a jerry curl as it is on a relaxer. So they want to see me do the other side over here. Now this is not perfect because I'm in the video. All right, and as you can see, it's not a lot of work. I'm just doing one pass on her hair, just one pass. And the steam is just the coming, we're taking the moisture out of the hair to realign the peptide chains to make her hair straight. That's all we're doing. We're just altering it. That's all we're doing. Her hair is still natural. When she washes her hair, all her hair is going to come back. All right? Okay, so I appreciate you guys. There you have it. Natural hair versus chemically altered hair. There is no competition. They both are very safe on the hair depending on what you want to do. The level or, or the pH on the chemical is going to determine how strong or how weak the chemical is, and it's just that simple. Her hair is altered, but it is still very, very natural. So once again, there is no competition. Please stop hair shaming people for what they do to their hair, be it chemicals, twisting, braiding, locking, flipping, roller setting, whatever, okay? If you have any questions, holla at your girl. Uh, I'm here at the Reverence Design Team. Visit our website, RDT Hair Salon, or you can call us here at 216-321-1101. And you know what we say, and we're always signing out, right? Love, peace, and hair grease. You know. Bye, guys.